In our previous video, we noticed a problem with this present worth factor that we were using to discount a geometric gradient series to present value. And the special problem was in this case, where the discount rate, i, that we use to discount future values to present value equals the increase in, the, that is the growth rate of these future payments. In that case, we have a discontinuity in this formula because i minus g is zero and the present worth factor blows up to infinity. Well, I mentioned that I would show you how to fix that issue in this video. Here's the special case of i equals g, and I've condensed the formula that we used in the previous video here, where we treated each one of these payments individually as if they were future values, and we we're summing up their present worths by calculating separate present worth factors for each one. And you can see that this simplifies to p equals ai, 1 over 1 plus i. When g and i are equal, you can see that we have 1 plus i here, 1 plus g here, 1 plus i squared here, 1 plus i g squared in the numerator of the next term, which I haven't shown. In the special case for when i equals g, this simplifies to p equals the amount of the first payment times total number of payments 1 plus i to the negative 1. Another way to write that is p n, the amount of the first payment, over 1 plus i, which looks a lot like this first term with each one of the additional terms. This allows us to calculate the present value of a geometrically increasing series of payments. And that's the most, the most important application of this might be estimating the stock price or calculating how much a ongoing company is worth that is experiencing growth in their profits. Unlike the special case where n equals infinity for a uniform series, of payments where a is constant for all n, unlike that case which reduced to p equals a over i. In this case, when n equals infinity, p equals infinity, a company that could grow profits forever would be worth an infinite amount of money today. There is no company in the world that can grow profits forever. But sometimes, if you listen to the CEOs of some of these fast-growing companies, they'd like to think that they could.